With paper one being just two days away, I wanna go through some final advice with you, some top tips to help make sure that that paper goes well. Now I know you're really busy, you're in the middle of exams, you don't have time for watching lots of YouTube videos, so I'm gonna keep this really, really brief. It's gonna be five minutes, maybe 10 maximum, and everything is gonna be high quality points to help you for this exam. So I know you don't have much time, but I really do think it's gonna be worthwhile watching this one through so you know all my essential tips for this video. Plus I've got B here wishing you good luck. So let's start with some quick fire facts about paper one to make sure you're fully prepared and know what to expect. So number one is it's 91 marks, two hours long, and it's worth 35% of your A-level grade. It covers topics one to four and the practicals one to six. 44 to 48% will test your knowledge or AO1, assessment objective one. 30 to 35% will test application or AO2. And 20 to 25% will be testing analysis, interpretation, and evaluating science scientific information, ideas, and evidence. So bearing this in mind, let me talk you through my four top tips for success to try and maximize your mark and hopefully make the difference between a grade for you. Number one is one of my most important tips. And I really hope you've heard me say this before because the more times I tell you, the more likely you are to do this. And it is start at the back. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is. And I really want to hear that in your exam, you heard everyone turn straight to the back. I love it when people tell me that happens because I know that means they probably gained a few extra marks just from doing that strategy. So let me tell you why. At the back of paper one, there are 15 marks of long answer AO1 questions, or they're nearly always AO1. And that means they're knowledge base. And it'll either be 555 five, five, or 564 five, marks. It's split across three questions to 15 marks. And the reason I say to start on those is, as I said, they're predominantly knowledge based, which are usually the highest scoring answers compared to the application and the practical questions. And if you don't start at the back, sometimes what students find is they work through an exam paper and they run out of time. And if that happens, you've missed the 15 marks, which are potentially easier marks to get than the rest of the paper. So start at the back, bullet point those answers and try and bank as many of those 15 as soon as possible. And just to give you a bit of an idea, those 15 marks should take you somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes to answer. And then you can go to the front, work your way through the rest. Number two is bullet point your answers. You are allowed to bullet point your answer for every question on paper one and I thoroughly recommend you do that. The reason for that is, first of all, if you're bullet pointing, you're likely to be quicker and more concise. That is useful so you don't run out of time, but being more concise means that you can easily check, have you included the key marking points? And you could even underline what you think are the key marking points in each bullet point to help with that. So you'll be quicker, more concise, more likely to be able to check and see that you've got a key word or key term in every bullet point, and therefore you'll be able to check your answer quicker if you have time, and it makes it easier for the examiner to mark. And examiners are human, they make mistakes. So you want to make it as easy as possible for them to see your answer clearly and mark it. Now that point is particularly important for those 15 marks at the back. If you're not gonna bullet point anywhere else, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you're not going to, please do it at least for those three long answer questions at the back. Tip number three is always have an insurance bullet point. So if it is a three mark question, you should be doing four bullet points. And if it's a four mark question, you should be doing five bullet points. So always do one extra bullet point and the question is worth. And the reason for that is, well, you've all seen the AQA mark schemes. They are incredibly picky and specific. So you might have thought that you've got three valid answers, but maybe you missed off that key word that they really insisted on and you actually only had two. So if you do an extra one as backup, that is your insurance. Or sometimes what you think might've been two separate points, they've combined together to be worth one combined mark. So it's always worth trying to add in an extra bullet point as insurance. Tip number four, is highlight the questions and information. You are allowed to highlight questions, just not your answers. And you aren't allowed to highlight your answer because as they scan it in, it can actually cover the writing or it makes it difficult to read the writing. So don't highlight your answer, but you can highlight the question. And that will really help for you to be able to pick out command words, key information, and therefore process all the information you might be given, process the exam question, knowing exactly what's being asked of you. And it'll make it quicker for you to go back and refer back to lengthy bits of text that you might have to have a look at. So make sure you are highlighting questions, maybe draw on graphs, annotate, 
to make sure you fully understood and read all of the information, particularly on those questions where it says, use all of the information in this answer. Because that means every subsection of this question, you need to go back and have a look at and use all of it. So there we go. Those are my four last minute tips for paper one. And I'm wishing you the absolute best of luck for the exam. And if you do need any extra last minute help cramming in that information, go and check out my entire paper one video now, or I'll see you in the pick and mix lessons that I am running this week. But for now, best of luck, everyone. Let me know how it goes.